I'm Dheeraj Yadav, an Associate Professor of Medicine at the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center. I'm delighted to discuss the findings of our study, Endoscopic Therapy is Effective for Patients with Chronic Pancreatitis. Our study included 146 patients with chronic pancreatitis enrolled prospectively in the North American Pancreatitis Study 2 from the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center. We collected comprehensive information on clinical characteristics, imaging studies, and the treatment received by each patient. We assessed the technical and clinical success of endoscopic therapy and surgery. We had follow-up data after endoscopic therapy or surgery in patients over an average of five years. Abdominal pain was the most common symptom present in two-third cases. In over half of these cases, pain was constant, and about half of these needed daily narcotics. Recurrent attacks of acute pancreatitis were seen in about 50% patients. Overall, about 60% patients underwent endoscopic therapy, one-third underwent surgery, and one-third were managed medically. Compared with patients who were managed medically, patients who underwent endoscopic therapy were significantly younger and were more likely to have any pain, constant pain, require narcotic medications, and have jaundice or cholestasis. Patients who underwent endoscopic therapy were also more likely to have pancreatic ductal abnormalities like dilatation, strictures, divisum, pancreatic duct leak, or common bile duct stricture. ERCP was technically successful in 85% patients. Patients who only had pancreatic duct stones had a shorter duration of treatment and required fewer stents when compared with patients who had pancreatic ductal stones and strictures or complex morphology. Complete or partial success of endoscopic therapy was seen in over half of patients who completed endoscopic therapy and had complete follow-up data. Patients who responded to endoscopic therapy were more likely to be older at the time of treatment, had less constant pain, required less narcotics, and had a shorter duration between the onset of chronic pancreatitis and endoscopic therapy. Among patients undergoing endoscopic therapy at UPMC, about one-third required surgery, more often in the presence of stones plus strictures or complex morphology. Complete or partial success after surgery in patients who failed endoscopic therapy is seen in about 50% of patients. Although the clinical success rate of endoscopic therapy and surgery in our study was somewhat lower than that of previous published series, the overall clinical success of endoscopic therapy and surgery in our study was 66%, fairly similar to prior surgical series. Another unique aspect of our study was defining the role of endoscopic therapy as a bridge to surgery. This group typically includes patients with an inflammatory mass or extensive calcifications in the pancreatic head. With endoscopic therapy intentionally performed as a measure to delay the surgery. To summarize, we found that patients who underwent endoscopic therapy were more symptomatic and had more complex morphology when compared with patients who were managed medically. Endoscopic therapy in expert hands was safe and achieved long-term clinical success in over half of the patients. Half of the patients who failed endoscopic therapy had good clinical outcomes with subsequent surgical treatment. Overall, two-thirds of patients achieved clinical success with endoscopic therapy and surgery. Based on our findings, we propose a stepwise approach for chronic pancreatitis, starting with medical management. Patients who are symptomatic and have appropriate morphological features should be considered for endoscopic therapy early in the disease course. A subset of patients will require surgical intervention with or without endoscopic therapy as a bridge to surgery based on individual assessment of risk and benefit. A multidisciplinary proactive approach is critical to controlling symptoms and disease progression 
in an effective, safe, and lasting manner. Thank you.